everyone and welcome back to the Breakdown Tech. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to SLI NVIDIA graphics cards. I personally have been running a SLI 980 Ti setup and that's what we're going to be doing in this video, reinstalling those GPUs. I also show you how to set it up on the computer and make sure it's good on the software side because that's something you'll need to do in order to make sure SLI works properly. So this is a complete tutorial from end to end. So I'm going to show you guys how to get SLI graphics cards to install properly. All right, so to SLI these graphics cards, it's pretty simple. You're going to install them like you normally would. Make sure your flaps are pushed down here. And in this system, we're going to be using these bottom two PCIe slots. That's just enough room to make sure our GPUs will uh, fit. So once we've got that, we can go ahead and install the first one. I'm going to install the bottom one first. It goes right in, lines right up, and then you just push it down until you hear the click or see the click happen right there. Now you're going to install the other graphics card, which we're going to do right over that. So we've got it right here. The same guy, exact graphics card, even down to the model. Everything needs to be the same for SLI to work appropriately. But then we just take and pop this one in. Once you've got it lined up, you again just push it in until you hear it click. Then, because these graphics cards are pretty heavy, you want to take your thumb screws and put them in right here. Now, I am tightening these down with a screwdriver just because these are heavy graphics cards. And as you can actually see, that card is lifting up as I tighten it down. A lot of times you don't need to do that, but if you've got these extended, long, huge graphics cards, you will. Now, we need to make sure everything is powered. So, take your power cord, just as you normally would, and plug them into, well, where you normally would right here. Your six pin, and then your four pin until you hear the click. There we go. And then again, our six pin up here. And then our four pin until we hear the click. Boom. Now we need to SLI this thing. To do that, you're going to need one of these. This is an SLI bridge. And if you have an SLI compatible motherboard, this will come with it, as mine did from MSI here. You can also buy them online for about 10 bucks. There's a link on Amazon to them in the description of this video. Now, all you gotta do is take this and put it right here on the uh, graphics card. So you're gonna put it right there, right over that, snaps into place, and it's SLI'd. It's as simple as that, guys. Now we're gonna jump over to the PC and I'm gonna show you guys how to set up SLI on the computer. Okay, so once you have your SLI graphics cards installed in your system and you've booted it up and everything's booted up correctly, you're going to wanna go download the NVIDIA drivers. You can do this by clicking the first link in the description down below and it will take you to this page where you can select the type of graphics cards you have and then you'll be able to uh, find the drivers associated with them. So as you can see, we've got the GeForce 1080 Ti for a 64-bit Windows 10 machine. We search, we can see that this is what it is. Click download here and then agree to download. It will then download your NVIDIA drivers and once that is done, they'll show up either on your desktop here or on your downloads folder. And to get to that, hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time and then just type in downloads right here, right like that. And they'll be in here where you can drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Once these are downloaded, I will see you guys. All right, so the NVIDIA drivers have downloaded and here they are. You can install them by simply double clicking on them and then it will open up the NVIDIA installer to be able to install their drivers and stuff and then you can just click OK and that will go through and see if things are compatible and then download them if they are. I would also recommend installing the GeForce Experience when you're prompted for that and then you'll be good to go. Once this is done I'll show you how to set up SLI. Once you've got your drivers installed setting up SLI is pretty easy. Just right click and go to the NVIDIA control panel here. You might have to restart your system to get this to show up once the NVIDIA drivers are installed. But once you've got that, click on NVIDIA control panel. It will then open up, well, the NVIDIA control panel here. And then we can see I already have a configure SLI selected, but yours might be just like adjust image settings or something. But you want to come down here to where it says configure SLI surround and phys X. Once you click that, you can go into SLI configuration, make sure maximum 3D performance is selected, and then you'll be able to see how your graphics cards are working and in SLI and all of that stuff. And then the phys X processor, you can select it here, but really I would just do recommend it. Anyway, guys, uh, that's how you can set up SLI on the back end. I will go ahead and pass it off to me to give you guys an outro. And there you guys have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We make tons of awesome tech, PC building, what things are in tech, all sorts of videos like that every single day of the week. So be sure to subscribe. I'm Nick. This has been The Breakdown and I am out guys. Peace.